Okay. New ball. Uh, Scoey, uh, must be pumped to have Ollie back, mate, just a, a couple of thoughts on that. Yeah, no, super excited. Uh, first time getting coach Ollie uh, in the game, and uh, yeah, look, being a co captain, uh, we're looking for his leadership, uh, but obviously we know he's a quality midfielder, so yeah, really wrapped to have him back. So, as a midfield coach, then how do you set up? Are there a few things you've had to grapple with in terms of how many minutes he plays and where to fit him in? Oh, look, he's ready to play, front play so he'll play the minutes we prescribe, um, and he'll play as normal. Uh, but once again, he'll be one of many midfielders we have and uh, he'll play with flexibility within those roles, you know, he's going to play various roles on, on the weekend. Is that a chance for, some, a chance for Sam Gray as well this week? Yeah, Sam, yeah, look, he, uh, he's been chipping away, building fitness, he had a, had a slow pre-season, uh, but, you know, had a fantastic game last week, kicking four, and, yeah, look, comes into his side, um, that's obviously won a couple of games, so he's definitely in his spot and we expect him to step up. So how did Ollie, how did Ollie coming back, how did his midfield minutes affect the others that have been in the rotation the first two rounds? Oh, they won't affect any any of the midfielders. Um, look, he, he'll slot in just like the other players have and, and play his role. And as, as I said, he won't just play purely on ball. He'll play various positions, and that's what we're about is having flexibility. So he won't he won't um, uh, nullify anyone else's limit minutes. Where else are you going to play? Uh, look, he'll play, you know, he might play outside. He might play forward. Uh, look, he, you dare say you'll see him a little bit up forward. He's, he's a great mark. He's a big lad. And, um, but yeah, he'll play for a variety of roles in the weekend. Tactically, I mean, you've had a, a pretty tough start, haven't you? Melbourne, Carlton's midfield, most slouch is now Brizzy. As a, a midfield coach who's sort of new to the AFL, how are you going? Yeah, good, it's a great challenge. Uh, you know, we came up against Melbourne, uh, who are you know, rated probably one of the best contested midfield um, over the last sort of 12 months. And yeah, we came up against a young vibrant midfield in Carlton, and then we got challenged. And Brisbane are no different. You know, they're up and about. Uh, they've you know, knocked off the uh, reigning premiers in round one. and. We know that we're going to be right on that game, so it's a fantastic challenge once again. Do you expect Ollie to be back to his best straight away, or would it take a few weeks for him to easy? In a perfect world, we want him to be uh, at his perfect yeah. best, but we understand um, where he's come from and what he's had to do to get back. And once again, we just want him to play his role and just do his bit. And, and if that means he's best on ground, fantastic. It will go a long way to us winning. It's not the sort of thing that you come back from and have a lesser fitness base. I suppose he's not as fit as anyone. Yeah, look, he, he's a super fit player anyway, and uh, he had a strong pre-season. Look, so after probably about two, sec, two, two or three weeks, he was able to run. So um, it's just the contest stuff we had to get into him, and that's the match fitness, and uh, we expect him to be right to go. As somebody who is such a heavily contested player, did he have to be eased into it or held back from uh, you know tackling and bumping, that sort of stuff, the last few weeks? No, look, we gradually progressed him. Um, Scotty Thompson. Our uh, other midfield coach, uh, he tested him out a couple of weeks ago and, and yesterday in our match play, um, Ollie actually went looking for the contest, um, which was good and he had a couple of contests where he really tested it. So look, he's tested himself along the way and I think he's right to go. Is he fitter, Jared? I mean, one of the knocks on Ollie in, in recent years, and even he's admitted, is that his game time in terms of his ability to run out needed to be a little bit better with the interchange caps. Is he fitter now than what he may have been? Oh look, as I said, you know, he had a strong pre-season and um, you know, he came back lighter than what he was when he finished the season, so he put himself in a good position to have a strong season. Um, so look, you know, with, with the flexibility within our side, we're not expecting him to play on ball the whole time, so that will enable him to uh, be a powerful runner. Um, but look, he's a naturally fit guy anyway. What do you need to see tomorrow night from the team? <coughs> Well, from the team, you know, we're just going to keep building on you know, the form that we've uh, already produced, you know, uh, build on the momentum, um, come with, with a heavily contested game and, and, and play with that sort of bold and aggressive type of play. And if, if we bring that, um, I'm sure we'll get the result we're looking for. Is that what you think it is, contested? Because they've been, they've been quick and you guys have been quick for the most part. Yeah, look, they're playing an exciting brand of football. You know, if you let them get hold of the ball, they can really go uh, quick from, uh, from defence to offence. and. But we, we understand that the game's won and lost in the contest, so look, we, we've got to make sure we bring that game. And, and being a midfield coach, I'll be asking our guys in the midfield to make sure that they start there. Gorn Cripps, who's on the hit list this week? <laughs> no one's on the hit list. Uh, we've got our final meetings. Uh, we just want all 22 to make sure that they just do their job. In the AFL more generally, we've seen quite a few knee injuries that have come up in the first few rounds and even in the AFLW as well. Is that something you think um, should be addressed more in the pre Oh, look, I think our guys train hard enough and they do a lot of um, proprioception type training and body movement type training that they prepare themselves in the right manner and I can't, I can't um, obviously give you an answer on the women's um, because I'm not, I'm not heavily involved there but I know what our guys do to uh, make sure they prepare themselves in the right way and I just think with the, 
the nature of our game that we play. Um, it's high intensity, there's a lot of contact and an unfortunate landing or an unfortunate sort of twist and turn can um, be a mishap for someone. But I don't know, I think, yeah, I think any AFL player prepares themselves in the right manner. Look, I don't know if it's a particular ground. I think we probably a few years ago there was ACLs or in serious injuries happening at Etihad or Marvel Stadium. So, look, I don't think it's any particular ground. It's just unfortunate circumstances. You watched uh, Brisbane a couple of times, and I play really well. What is the greatest threat or challenge that they bring? Is it the speed? Oh, they're a young, vibrant uh, a team uh, that's playing um, with a lot of confidence. Uh, they, as I said, they, they beat the running premiers round one um, and they, they backed it up uh, last weekend. So they're full of confidence, uh, they're playing to a good game plan, their system's strong and they're playing a good contested ground footy. So we understand playing up with the Gabba and I'm sure they've got a lot of excitement around, around the team and we're going to make sure we uh, get off to a good start. Thanks, Jared. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you.